Hello everyone, this is Urvi and in this video we will be discussing how to use the hierarchy processor for a source described using intelligent structure model in a cloud data integration advanced mapping. The agenda of this video is to understand how an ISD model can be integrated for the complex sources to be processed by the hierarchy processor transformation in a CDI advanced job. We will also demonstrate this through a simple XML to relational use case. The hierarchy processor uh, transformation is used for reading from parsing writing to the uh, hierarchical data. Uh, such data often requires the structure of the data to be described for building the processing logic. The intelligent structure discovery uses Informatica's AI engine Claire to determine the underlying patterns and uh, structures for the input and creates the model which is also known as intelligent structure model that can be used to transform, pass and generate the output groups. This can be used for the files that reside on Amazon S3 v2 or a Microsoft uh, ADLS Gen2 connection. For CDI advanced jobs, the ISD model can contain up to 8000 ports. So uh, we'll demonstrate a simple use case of XML to relational. So first of all, uh, we will um, let's go to the uh, data integration uh, section and create a new ISD model. So in this use case, I will be using the XML file that resides on uh, ADLS Gen2. So let's create the uh, model for that. So click on new, components, intelligent structure model and create it. So once you create it, uh, it will take you to, the, once you click on create, it will take you to the screen. You can provide the name. Uh, you have to select uh, on what basis you are going to discover the structure of the sample that you would be providing and uh, whether you want a part of it to be sampled or you want the entire file or the schema to be sampled. And once that is done, you can click on uh, discover structure and uh, the, d uh, the structure will be uh, displayed in this format. Let me show you. Now once this intelligent structure uh, is created, let's create a mapping for this. So once you, uh, when you create a mapping, uh, make sure uh, you switch it to advanced so that uh, you can click on this tab, switch to advanced so that it uh, converts it to the CDI advanced job. This is because we use the hierarchy uh, processor transformation only in the advanced mode. Once that is done, you, we need to configure the source. You can uh, select the connection and uh, the resource that resides on uh, based on your connection that you've selected. It can be either S3 or it can also be ADLS Gen2. Now, uh, the next point that we need to configure is the format. Since we know, uh, since in this use case, we are using the XML file and we do not see the format for XML here, we can use a discover structure uh, option. This option means that uh, we will be using the intelligent structure model that we previously created and we can select the uh, model here using this option and um, the way it is uh, selected here. So once the source is configured, we, ne we need to move on to the hierarchy processor. In this case, we have, uh, I have used all the fields to be populated from the source. Now uh, go to the hierarchy processor tab and uh, we need to map all these sources, all these uh, we expand this uh, all the fields to uh, the output group so here I have created an output group you can click on this option to create the output group and I have added only first two columns using the, these links and uh, selected uh, these two uh, columns to be mapped to the output within this output group that I created and uh, similarly you can uh, then you connect the source and the target and um, uh, define the target uh, configuration. I have already created a sample mapping for this. 
uh, where I have also configured the target. In this case, we will be taking the file format, uh, the format for the target as flat because I want it to be uh, converted from XML to a relational data. So the target that I would be using, uh, I have chosen the option create on runtime and I will be uh, creating it uh, as a CSV format, a uh, formatted file, which will also be on the ADL ADLS Gen 2. So, uh, yeah, so here I have uh, used the create new uh, at runtime. You can also use the existing target. Now let's run this job. Uh, for running the job, you need to select the runtime environment because that is specific to the advanced mappings and uh, that will uh, be the uh, main uh, point where the cluster is invoked from. And uh, once that is done, you click on run and run the mapping. So I have recently run the mapping uh, and uh, here are the details for it, uh, the Spark uh, task that was invoked for this. And um, uh, as we can see, the CSV file was also created in the target location that I have specified. Now let's see the contents of this uh, CSV file. So uh, as we have selected only the first two fields to be populated to the target, it has uh, written only two fields. So this is how we create uh, the relational to, uh, sorry, XML to relational um, flow using the hierarchy processor and the intelligent structure model. For further reading, you can go to our Informatica portal for docs.informatica.com and uh, refer to the documentation on hierarchy processor and intelligent structure models. We would love to hear from you. Hence, please provide the feedback on the following links. Thank you so much.